Hey guys, Tom here. Welcome to my WWE Hell in a Cell 2016 predictions video. If you guys could smash the likes, that'd be absolutely awesome. Also, comment your predictions down below. I'll make sure to read every single comment. I just want to know what you guys are saying about the pay-per-view. Which match are you most looking forward to? Who do you think is going to win? Just tell me. I'll read every single comment. I want to know you guys' predictions for the Hell in a Cell pay-per-view this Sunday. So, let's get right into it. The first match I'm going to predict today is Dana Brooke versus Bailey. You know, this one's actually pretty hard to predict because for the last few weeks, Dana Brooke has been beating up Bailey week in and week out. So you would kind of assume that Bailey would get the win on the pay-per-view, but really, I feel like Bailey's character is already pretty well established and Dana Brooke, she's still got a long way to go to kind of convince the fans that you know she's going to stick around for a while and be a huge contender on the women's roster on Monday Night Raw. So I'm actually going to go for Dana Brooke. I think she needs a big win on this pay-per-view at Hell in a Cell. So I'm going to go for Dana Brooke. The next match hasn't actually been announced yet, but I'm assuming it's going to happen because Braun Strowman needs to be on this pay-per-view because he's becoming a huge part of Monday Night Raw. So I'm guessing he's going to have a match against Sami Zayn. And the obvious winner of this match is going to be Braun Strowman. Braun Strowman needs to win this match, and I'm like 99.9% .9 sure he is going to win this match. I mean, he's been on an undefeated streak since the draft in July, so he's not going to lose here. He's just not going to lose. So Braun Strowman is going to beat Sami Zayn, and it doesn't really matter because Sami Zayn is sort of this underdog so, Braun Strowman, he's going to beat him. Enzo Amore and Big Cass are taking on the club. My prediction for this match is the club. The club need to win this match. Enzo Amore and Big Cass, they come out to the crowd every single Monday Night Raw, and they are so over. Everybody loves them, so they don't need the win at the pay-per-view. The club, however, they do need the win. They took loads of losses in that feud with the New Day, and... They looked pretty pathetic after it. They just looked really bad. And they need to bounce back from that feud with the New Day with a win here against Enzo Amore and Big Cass. They paid so much money for the club and they haven't really done anything with them yet. But with a win over Enzo and Cass, one of the most over tag teams in recent years, that would be awesome. And that's definitely what they're gonna do. So the New Day are taking on Cesaro and Sheamus for the WWE Tag Team Championships and we all know the New Day are going to beat the longest reign of WWE Champions ever. So Demolition have 478 days. We're kind of a few months away from that yet but the New Day are just gonna retain here. They just are. They are gonna beat the 478 days reign are you guys kind of liking this whole Sheamus and Cesaro thing? We've kind of seen it all before. We saw it with Team Hell No. We saw it a little bit with Rhino and Heath Slater at the start. I mean, they, they don't like each other, but eventually they'll get along and they'll become a solid tag team. That's how it always ends. I mean, I don't really like it. I'm not really a huge fan of it, but we all know the New Day are going to retain the tag team titles and will defeat Demolition's reign eventually. TJ Perkins is taking on THE Brian Kendrick. Is Brian Kendrick going to win this match and become the Cruiserweight Champion? Sadly, no he isn't. TJ Perkins is probably going to successfully retain his Cruiserweight Championship. I mean, he has actually just recently won the bloody belt. It's only really been a couple of months. He's still kind of establishing himself. He's actually extremely popular and he's doing a decent job. So why change it? They don't really need to change it. And at the end of the day, Brian Kendrick kind of only came to Monday Night Raw to put over the fresh new hungry talent of the Cruiserweight division. So I don't really see them putting the title on Brian Kendrick. I see TJ Perkins walking in as champion, having a pretty decent match, and walking out as champion. People love him, so why change it? Kevin Owens is taking on Seth Rollins for the WWE Universal Championship. Honestly, Chris Jericho has been way more entertaining than these two combined in the last few weeks on Monday Night Raw. I'm just not really a fan of this feud at all. I mean, I know the match is going to be good, but the feud just hasn't really done it for me. So I'm going to say... 
Kevin Owens is going to retain his WWE Universal Championship. I don't think they're going to put the belt back on Seth Rollins. We've seen him as world champion a few times before, and he really hasn't really got off to a great start as a babyface. I mean, he just isn't clicking with me. He's not clicking with people in the crowd. I mean, I don't know what it is, but it kind of feels like they dropped the ball. They should have turned him face when he first returned at Extreme Rules, and they left it a little bit too late, and now they did it, and it's just, it's not really working. Seth Rollins isn't in the correct position right now to hold that Universal Championship. It's gonna take him a while to get over as a babyface, and he's got that feud with Triple H coming up for WrestleMania, and I don't think they're gonna have the belt on him for that feud. So I think Kevin Owens is actually gonna retain here, and they're sort of hinting that Chris Jericho might turn on Kevin Owens, and then we'll have a feud between them two, so I simply think Kevin Owens is going to retain, and he's going to move on to bigger and better things, because this feud hasn't been great for either of them. Let's just move on. It hasn't been good. Let's have the match. Kevin Owens retains, and we move on. So the penultimate match we've got is Roman Reigns taking on Rusev in Hell in a Cell for the WWE United States Championship. I feel like this match is going to be pretty good, because Roman Reigns' match against Bray Wyatt last year in the Hell in a Cell was freaking awesome. So I think this match is going to be pretty good, but this feud just feels like it's been going on forever. It's been going on for way too long. I'm just not that bothered anymore. So for me, Roman Reigns has to retain his United States Championship. This feud is just dead in the water now. Surely they can't have Rusev win back the title. Then we'd have to have another match between the two. I don't want to say that. We've seen it all before. Roman Reigns will retain the championship here and move on to somebody else. And the last and final match. I've said this match last because I well and truly feel this is the main event and should be the main event. It's the first ever women's Hell in a Cell match. It's in Boston, Sasha Banks' hometown, and it's the match I most care about. So hopefully, fingers crossed, the WWE do it right and have it as the main event because this match is going to be freaking awesome. It's going to be amazing. I just can't wait for it, but please make it the main event, because they deserve it. It's been an incredible feud, one of the best feuds in the whole year, but I feel like this is the time it needs to end. Hell in a Cell has always been that match which ends feuds. It's the final chapter in a long feud, and that's what I feel this match is. It's been going on for ages now. It's been good, but it's kind of time to end it now. I mean, they can bring it up in future events, but right now... This should be the final chapter, because Sasha Banks and Charlotte, the belt's been swapping around, it's been on Charlotte, it's been on Sasha Banks, it's been all over the place. I think Sasha Banks just needs to retain here, because in the past it's felt like every single title match they've had together, the titles change hands, which is okay, but you've got to get to a point where we stop it. And Hell in a Cell is the place where this feud needs to end. It's been a good feud, but for me, Sasha Banks... She only just recently won the title. She has to retain in the main event in her hometown crowd of Boston, Massachusetts against Charlotte in the Hell in a Cell. And that's going to be fine. Sasha Banks as champion is great and I'm all for that. It's been great to see Charlotte right at the top of the women's division. But I feel right now we've got to change it up. We've got to have somebody new step up to the plate to face Sasha Banks. So what do you guys think? That's my predictions for the Hell in a Cell pay-per-view. Do you guys want to see a moonsault off the Hell in a Cell cage from either Charlotte or Sasha Banks? I think that'd be freaking awesome. Imagine a frog splash from Sasha Banks off the top of the bloody cell. I don't know. It's got to be the main event. What do you guys think? Thanks for watching. Comment your predictions down below. Smash that like button. Take care. Spike your hair.